Hey there, YouTube fans. Thanks for tuning in. This is Jackie Van Ham, your girl in the know for all things motorcycle with your Chopper Town Daily today. Welcome to the show, YouTubers. Welcome to our program here on Chopper Town. On Wednesdays, I like to go ahead, open up the camera, and give you your motorcycling event roundup on Wednesday afternoons, letting you know about some of the awesome stuff going on out here in motorcycling. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to hit that follow button. Give us a subscribe. We appreciate it. If you got any comments, go on ahead and say, hey, peek in. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I can see you as we get going on along. Coming up for this weekend, out on the West Coast, my friends at Lucky Wheels Garage, located in downtown Los Angeles. They can be found on the Instagrams at Lucky Wheels Garage. They are hosting their event called The Good Luck Show, and it's a tribute to motorcycle racing. So this is a really neat bike show. It is gonna be dedicated to all things race bike. This Saturday at 6 p.m., come check out some one-of-a-kind race bikes from a variety of racing disciplines. Again, that's our friends at Lucky Wheels Garage in downtown Los Angeles. That's The Good Luck Show coming up on Saturday. Also out on the West Coast for my dirt track, flat track race fans, Alice at Paris, at Paris Raceway, it's the North America Speedway Finals. So this is it. This is the last race of the season. This is going to be at Paris Raceway in Paris, California. It is Saturday, December 8th at 7 p.m. 16 riders, 20 main events, and only one winner. And I believe this is also a toy drive. So make sure you go on ahead, bring a brand new toy for children in need. It goes to a good cause. And you're not, you can check out some awesome racing going on out there as well. Again, that is the Speedway Finals out in Paris. Also for my West Coast friends in Ventura, it's Chopper Fest time. One of the biggest, most iconic artists in motorcycling, David Mann, founded a Chopper Fest 15 years ago, and it is a heck of a good time. It is at Ventura County Fairgrounds. It is Motorcycle Art and Culture Show. The 15th annual David Mann Chopper Fest will be held on Sunday, December 9th at the Ventura County Fairgrounds in Ventura, California. The event features a very special motorcycle art exhibit, an all-brand antique and custom motorcycle show, custom bike builder displays featuring world-class bike builders, hundreds of motorcycle and culture vendors, a new used swap, live rock and roll bands, food, and beer. General admission is 15 bucks. That looks like a heck of a good time. I've been meaning to go to this for years because there's just so much rad stuff there. And David Mann is just incredible, right? You can't ever miss his paintings. He's just got such a such a particular perspective and you can never miss it. It's a super, super iconic good stuff. Anyway, that's Chopper Fest and that's going on this weekend, December 9th. For more information, you can head to chopperfestival.com. Now going on out on the East Coast for my East Coast friends, great motorcycle website that has lots of really great New York-centric motorcycling events called nycmotorcyclist.com. They've got a great calendar. I just kind of stumbled upon this um, today, this afternoon when I was doing my research. And they've got all sorts of cool, you know, bike nights and rides and blood drives and charity events that are going on that are motorcycle specific. They've got uh, welding workshops. They've got metal fabrication workshops, all sorts of cool stuff. So go check out this website. More importantly, this weekend, however, is the Moto Market NYC. And this is taking place I, um, at a really, really great micro distillery, ironically enough, or appropriately enough named Moto Spirits. And that's over in Brooklyn. This takes place on December 9th. It is the Moto Market NYC. Bikes, parts, gear and whiskey. And that goes on December 9th. For more information, you can head to that nycmotorcyclist.com or look them up on the Google machine. Another good one for my East Coast friends going on this weekend for my flat track and race fans. This one, however, though, is indoors because they're going to be banging bars on a concrete track indoors in Maryland. This is a really big deal race. It's the Rodney Ferris Memorial Indoor Motorcycle Races. This takes place December 8th and December 15th. It's a double header. It's both weekends. Maryland State Fairgrounds at the Cow Palace. This has a $5,000 pro purse. So when five grand is on the line, there's gonna be some very, very go fast dudes from this season's American Flat Track Pro Series that are gonna be there. So this is guaranteed to be an awesome race event, absolutely hands down. For more information, you can head to bctra, bctra.com. And again, that is December 18th and December 15th, and that's the Rodney Ferris Memorial Indoor Motorcycle Races. Now, because it is that time of year and it is the holiday season, there's no shortage of fun motorcycle gadgets and whiz bangs and things to shop for and motorcyclists in your life that you might want to buy something neat for. And I've got a couple of recommendations. I have been picking up a couple of books 
this past week. One is by Elspeth Beard, the first British woman to circumnavigate the globe on an old BMW. She did this in the 1970s. This is called Lone Rider. I picked up this softbound but autographed copy from our friends at Bob's BMW, bobsbmw.com. He might have some more copies. I got this, however, off of Amazon. This is another good buddy of mine named Mark Gardner. He's a pro writer out here in motorcycle land. He's a moto journalist. He has been for a gazillion years, and he's done a series of articles over the course of his career called The Back Marker. This is his collection of some of his favorites. It's his greatest hits, and it's called On Motorcycles, The Best of Backmarker. And again, this is Mr. Mark Gardner. I know this is in reverse. I've got the forward-facing camera on, so I'm reading it to you. <laughs> but anyway, this came from Amazon. This I'm going to get started on this week. I just finished the Elspeth Beard book over this weekend. This was a great read. This was a really, really great story. Quick, easy to read. Last but not least, if you're doing some shopping and maybe got a little bit deeper pockets, you've got somebody in your life who loves new toys. I have got a super fun toy for you. And my friends from Zeus, Z-O-O-Z -O -O -Z Bikes, have launched their very first e-bike and it's on uh, Indiegogo. They're crowdsourcing it, they're fundraising it. It's indiegogo.com, it's called Zeus Bikes and it is a BMX styled e-bike. And I had the chance to ride this out in LA and this thing hauls the mail. It is super duper fast. It was a really, really good time. I had a motorcyclist catch up to me on it, have flagged me over to pull over and then ask me all about it for like 10 minutes. And then he came, he came and he got permission. He took it for a ride too. Cause it's just so rad. It's so super, super cool. Anyway, these are my friends at Zeus bikes. So good, good luck to them. I wish them the best of luck. They already make a hell of a good product. So go check it out. If you got, if you're shopping for somebody in your life and they love cool, neat toys, but thank you so much for tuning in everybody. We appreciate you. I'll be back on Friday for your fun fact Friday. So make sure you come on back. You're not going to want to miss it. Have a great day, everybody.